Hello, math rock stars. Welcome back for another day of virtual number corner. It's Miss Inferreira, and I have here our September calendar. And lately, we've been talking a lot about the patterns. And the last time we met yesterday, I told you to try to start thinking of what your prediction is for the card for today. So yesterday, let's go over yesterday's date. We can read the whole thing together. We start by saying the day then the month, then the date, and then the year. Okay, so yesterday was Tuesday, September the 15th, 2020. So today must be, after Tuesday, it goes Wednesday, September the 16th, 2020. All right, I'm going to zoom my screen in so you can get a closer look at these cards. And you know the drill, we're on day three. I am going to give you 30 seconds to turn and talk with somebody in your house and share your prediction of the pattern and also what, with the pattern, what will appear on this card for the 16th. And there are three different patterns to help you with your prediction. The color, the uh, item that is on the card, and also... Um, the the growing pattern okay 30 seconds starting now Okay, boys and girls, time is up. Now let's take a look at this card for Wednesday, September the 16th, 2020. Okay, one of the patterns we discussed was the pattern with the colors. It's a repeating pattern and it goes orange, yellow, blue. So let's look at the cards right before it. Uh, well, there's the last orange that I saw, orange, yellow, blue. So this one must be... If you said orange, you are correct. Please kiss your brains. Okay, the other pattern we noticed with, was uh, dealing with what is on the card. So that pattern, I will remind you of that pattern, tally mark, popsicle sticks, and then the 10 frames. If we follow that pattern throughout here, we have here tally marks, popsicle sticks, 10 frames. So we have the tally marks again. If you predicted the tally marks, kiss your brains again. Okay, the third pattern to help us predict the card was the growing pattern. We started with one tally mark, then it grew to two popsicle sticks, then three counters, and it continued throughout the calendar. Yesterday, there were 15 counters on these two 10 frames here. So on the 16th, we should have 16 tally marks. So I'm going to zoom this in so you can see it even better. We have this group of tally marks circled because that is a group of 10. Remember that fifth tally mark? You close the gate, it goes across. So we had one, two, three, four. The fifth one goes across. Five, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, there's that fifth one in that group. So that is why they circled this group because we have a bundle of 10. So we have 10. Now we don't have to keep counting up by ones by saying 11, 12, 13. If you, if you know this is a group of 10, you can keep counting up by fives if you know how to count by fives. So we had five, 10. This one is 15 plus one more is 16. So we have 16 tally marks. Now, the more you practice, the better you'll get at it. So maybe you're not quite there yet to count by fives, and that's perfectly fine. You can just count each and every tally mark and continue to practice counting by fives. 5, 10, 15, plus one more is 16. Okay, so I am now going to go to our chart here where we have the month, the day, the year. And yesterday we wrote 9 15 20. Now, if we count the months 
to see for the month of September what number. We're still in the month of September, so that number hasn't changed. It's still the ninth month. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September. So that nine stays the same. But today, it's not the 15th anymore. It's now the 16th. So I need to change that 15 to a 16. Now we're still in the same year, 2020. We didn't say Happy New Year yet. So we still keep the 20 there. So I'm going to get my marker and I'm going to add the date. We're going to continue our calendar grid observation chart. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make the screen a little larger. That way you can see it a little better. So there's yesterday's date. The nine stays the same because it's still September. Dash. Now we have to put a 16 since it's the 16th of the month. It's not the 15th anymore. Dash. 20 because it's still the year 2020. Okay, here we have the model. Okay, now if we go back to this calendar here, we see we have our tally marks here. Instead of drawing all of those tally marks, what I'm going to do, since we have a bundle of 10, you see it's even highlighted white and it's circled, since there's a bundle of 10 there, what I am going to do, let's see here, I'm actually, you know what I am going to draw though. I'm going to, I'm just going to continue this same chart pattern here because I did draw the bundle of 10 and I circled it there because yesterday when we had the uh, 10 frames with the counters, I drew them all out, but there's a quicker way. I can just write the 10 and cross it off. But for the tally marks, I'm going to draw them. Okay. Help me count. One, two, three, four, five, close the gate. Six, seven, eight, nine, and we have to close that gate. Ten. Now I have to circle that group of ten, but we're going to keep counting up. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Close the gate. Fifteen. Sixteen. All right, so we have sixteen tally marks there. I'm writing a little crooked there. I apologize. Oh, I didn't change the date on your screen here. I'm sorry. Let me change this. 9-16-20, we have to make sure the date that's written out matches it. So it is September the 16th now. So I'm going to change that 5 to a 6. So it's September 16th, 2020. Okay, let me get my popsicle sticks. Uh, before what we did, oh, I just dropped my marker. Okay, before, yesterday I should say, we had one bundle of 10 popsicle sticks. They were rubber banded together to make one group of 10. And then we had five sticks left over. One, two, three, four, five. Now today I have to add another popsicle stick. So instead of having the five left over, now I have six. Can I wrap a rubber band around this? Can I bundle it up yet with six? No, we're only going to do that when we have a group of 10. We don't have 10 yet, we only have six. Okay, so let me get my red marker here. For the tens, we still only have one bundle of 10. So I'm gonna put a one there for one bundle of 10. But we don't have the five popsicle sticks left over anymore. We added one today. So now we have six popsicle sticks. I'm gonna get the blue marker. And you can actually see there the one and the six. If we use our imaginations and just Smush those together, it actually makes the number 16. Okay, so before I go to the next screen and before we do this uh, equation, I'm going to make this smaller so we can see a little bit better here. And I could even move over here, so there's a lot of space over here. I wanna do this, how many days in school? Yesterday, we were on our second day of school. It was day two. So we put the digit, the number two, the numeral two, but we also spelled the word out, T-W-O. I am going to click on this post-it note because it's not day two anymore. What comes after two? Three, very good. Okay, I'm gonna save that. But this word does not match that number, so I need to click on this other green post-it, and I have to change that word to, T-W-O, to the number three. Well, if we make the sound, it's actually T-H-R-E-E, -E, and that is how you spell three. Now, we made a new pink post-it note yesterday. 
Uh, we wanted to put things in order first, second, third day, day of school. So it's not the second day of school anymore. We have to change that word second to the word third. And I will show you how to spell that. T-H-I-R-D, third day of school. Okay, now I realized yesterday I did not show you that 100th grid that we looked at on Monday when I introduced that to you and we put an X on it for each day. So let me get that number grid now. Let me see, is this the one? Here we go. So as you can see here, I added yesterday's X there myself. I apologize, I forgot to show this screen yesterday. So we put an X for the first day of school, the second day of school. I am adding another X here for the third day of school. So now we have three X's for three days of school. I wanted to do that before we start doing the equation because I was afraid I was going to forget again. Okay, so let me go back here. And what I'm going to do is change the screen to, oh, you know what? I don't want to do that yet. I apologize. Let's see here. Here we go. This screen will help us with our equation because I want to finish this calendar grid observation chart with you. Okay, let me make this a little bit bigger so you can see the chart behind me here. So you can see there's a pattern of all of our equations. Zero tens plus one equals one. Zero plus two equals two. Zero plus three equals three. And it continues. But then after zero plus nine equals nine, it changed because if you look right next to it, we had a bundle of 10, one group of 10, we had to put a 10 there, plus zero left over, 10 plus zero equals 10. Then we had one group of 10 plus one left over. So it's 10 plus one equals 11 six in all. Then we had another one. So we still have one group of 10 plus two sticks left over. 10 plus two equals 12. Okay, then we still have our group of 10, even though we're adding one more stick, we still only have one group of 10 plus three left over. 10 plus three equals 13. Then I'm getting my other stick. We still have one bundle of 10 one group of 10. 10 plus four sticks left over equals 14. Another stick from yesterday, one group of 10. 10 plus five popsicle sticks equals 15, and that's still being displayed on the screen. So we need to change it. Okay, I'm gonna add another popsicle stick here, and I'm going to put another, no, I don't wanna use blue, I wanna use red, so it matches. I'm going to add another red counter here. So we have a set of blue, that's a set of 10. 10 plus, we don't have, uh, another marker fell. 10 plus, we don't have five anymore. We now have six red counters left over. 10 plus, we're gonna change that to a six. Now it doesn't equal 15 anymore, we said it equals 16, okay? So that's if we had the counters on that calendar, this is what it would look like. I just wanna keep this all up to date. That way, when we get to that card on the calendar, it will match. Okay, so we have that one here. Let me go here because we just did our popsicle sticks. So I wanna add another popsicle stick here to the collection. I'm gonna put it down here though because we have five up here, one, two, three, four, five. I want you to be able to see those five easily. Plus one more is six. And now I want to pick the marker over here and I have to add another tally mark. Remember we had a bundle of 10 here. There was five, 10 and I circled it. Then we have another group of five that makes 15. Five, 10, 15 plus one more tally makes 16. You just count up by one. All right, so let me put this up here on our observation chart here and there goes my last marker. All right, okay, thank goodness we're done with the markers. 10, we have our group of 10, our bundle of 10, plus the six left over equals 16. Making sure you can see this poster. 
Okay, boys and girls, we have one more thing to do today in Number Corner before we say our goodbyes. Uh, we have here our number line, but it looks a little bit different today. If you remember yesterday, I revealed the numbers one through nine, but today I covered up some of these numbers and I only have three number cards revealed, three, four, and five. Boys and girls, I would like for you to pause this video and I want you to try to figure out what numbers are behind these blue cards after five. So think, hmm, what numbers come next after five? So please pause the video and then when you're ready, you can unpause it to go over it with me. Okay, so the easiest way to do this, boys and girls, start with the first number and keep counting up in order. And you'll probably, like you're used to counting your numbers and you'll be able to figure out what number comes next. So we can start with a three and say three, four, five. So what comes after five? If you said six, kiss your brains. All right, what comes after six? Three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. All right, if you got all of those right, give yourself a double kiss on the brain. Mwah, mwah. All right, very good. Now we need to figure out, because there's still some numbers covered up, we need to figure out what's up front here. Now this one might be a little bit trickier. So just look at these cards and think, hmm, what numbers are behind these blue cards here. Now, if you're really good at counting backwards, I suggest starting with nine, count backwards to see what comes before this number three and then what comes before that number as well. Feel free to pause the video again to think about it and tell your parents or whoever's home with you your answer and then you can unpause it when you're ready for me to give you the answer. Okay. So I'm gonna start counting backwards from nine and you're gonna hear this pattern. It's kind of like the growing pattern, but it's not really growing. It's actually getting smaller. So let's count backwards from nine. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Did you get that right? Kiss your brains. Good job, boys and girls. Okay, so tomorrow we'll be back with more Number Corner. Uh, I'm gonna make sure this looks a little different than today. I'm gonna give you a different problem to solve with me using our number line. So boys and girls, keep practicing those patterns. Keep practicing place value with tens and ones. And also your tally marks and number line. We're working with the numbers one through nine and thinking about what comes before certain numbers and after numbers. All right, boys and girls, enjoy the rest of your virtual learning day, and I can't wait to see you tomorrow. Rock on, Math Rock Stars. Bye.